This is Patrice Wendling at the Society of Surgical Oncology meeting in San Antonio, Texas, speaking with Dr. Michael Sable regarding a new glycoprotein microarray his group has developed. We used a glycoprotein microarray uh, to look for antibodies in the serum of patients with melanoma. And we actually identified four antibodies that recognized uh, certain proteins associated with melanoma that could be detected in about a third of patients with melanoma. And these, these antibodies to these proteins uh, were very effective in predicting which patients uh, had metastases to their lymph nodes. Ultimately, what it means is we could develop a serum-based test that could select which patients would really benefit from sentinel node biopsy and which patients were so unlikely to have regional metastases that they could just have a wide excision. This should significantly lower the cost and the morbidity associated with the surgical treatment of melanoma. Most of the time, in fact about 90% of the time, uh, the entire melanoma primary tumor has been removed in order to make the diagnosis. So by the time we know that the patient has melanoma and we may want to do a test, there's really no tissue to test for genomics or microRNA or other tumor-based assays. Proteomics uses serum, which means any patient, regardless of whether the primary tumor was removed or not, uh, could have this simple blood-based test in order to determine their prognosis and the benefit of adjuvant therapies. used the sentinel node positivity uh, as one endpoint, but certainly we could look for proteins and hence the antibodies to those proteins uh, that could help predict the likelihood of distant metastases as well. Uh, this would be helpful in selecting which patients may benefit from adjuvant therapies. We could look for antibodies that may correlate to response to adjuvant therapy, meaning a patient begins their adjuvant therapy. We could test their serum after a month and see if these antibodies are present or absent, and that might select the patients that aren't getting a benefit and may discontinue that therapy or move to a different therapy. We could even look for proteins and antibodies that are associated with benign versus malignant disease uh, to sort of help understand some of those proteins that are important in the development of melanoma. This has been Patrice Wendling at the Society of Surgical Oncology meeting in San Antonio, Texas.